Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Peck324, also known as Mr. Peck324, also known as the producer of Karate Shotokan Dojo. And I'm here to talk about Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I have to admit, it beats the original Marvel 3. So they just released the trailer and the announcement of the release date, which was on the Comic-Con, which is coming out on November 15th. As of right now, it's $39.99, but the price might be get might be getting a little higher because of the more characters that might be releasing soon. So, uh, the four characters out of 12 that had just been released was Firebrand, Strider, Hawkeye, and Ghost Rider. Now, I admit, three out of four of those characters are awesome. I'll tell you that one character that sucks later on. The more characters for Capcom is coming is Phoenix Wright, Virgil, Nemesis, and Frank West. As we all know that Frank West should have been in it already because of Zero. And uh, for Marvel, it's Doctor Strange, Iron Fist, Rocket Raccoon, and Nova. Iron Fist was already predictable because of Ryu's ending. So was Ghost Rider because of Dante's ending. We thought that uh, Blade could have been in it because of Jill. But... I had this one question for Capcom. Why did they put Hawkeye in it? And that's one reason I think it sucks. Like, that character sucks. His special where he just shoots one arrow. One, it doesn't do any damage. And two, is that it? That's all he's supposed to do? Is it like some type of poison dart or some shit? Anyway, they could have just replaced him with Black Panther. I mean, one... He's related to Storm since they're married together. And two, he's much of a better fighter than he is in the Marvel comics. But out of all that, the rest of the characters are alright. But we won't get to know that until like uh, next month or so. Since they're going to release the other characters probably this month or the next. Not later than October. Because it's going to be releasing in November. Um, let's see... Rocket Raccoon, I want to talk about him also. He's much of a joke character like, for example, let's see, uh, Modark. Modark. Yeah, Modark. Yeah, that's how you say it. Yeah, Modark is basically a really jokish character if you don't know how to use him. Yeah, so basically, it's pretty much okay. Doctor Strange, he kind of, I don't know, judging by my... By my Prediction of how he fights in the trailer. He might fight like either Magneto or because he might be like, you know, Doctor Strange is one of those people who can fly and shit. And yeah. Uh, I never seen Phoenix Wright fight, but he does say objection. That he will be a better fighter. Yeah, that's what he's going to say. Virgil, that I'm going to get I might get hyped about Virgil because he is known as a DMC fighter, yeah. I thought Neo was going to be in it, but Virgil is going to be much better. And it is kind of weird that if they put Neo in it, since the English actor is Johnny Bosch and he's acting as ne Zero, it's going to be a little bit weird, but Virgil is going to be a little bit better. So if they put Virgil in it, the DMC clan will be there. And uh, let's see. Nemesis. My guessing for his fighting style will be like Hagger. My guess. Let's see. Ghost Rider. We all knew that Ghost Rider was going to be in it by, like since Marvel was released. We thought because he was going to be in the DLC. But unfortunately he's only going to be in the Ultimate Marvel 3. So yeah. I don't know much about Nova. Yeah. Don't know much about Nova. Frank West, um, he's going to have the same fighting styles as freaking uh, Tatsunoko. But I think he might get nerfed, maybe. But as for the other characters, uh, Phoenix, uh, the original Phoenix, like Dark Phoenix, you guys know. Uh, I think they approved that she has been nerfed. And so has uh, the X Factor, is 100% nerfed. So the X Factor is basically... Um, I think the damage from it it's basically went low. So did uh, Phoenix and Sentinel. Uh, not on... I don't think about... I don't think Hulk or Hagger has that one. 
All right, uh, let's see. They have Spectator. So that's what everyone has been wanting is Spectator and Strider. Uh, for Strider, he has two level threes. So, yeah, the Orbs and Ragnarok. Most people don't want to use Ragnarok. Uh, but Orbs is going to be approved that people are going to use. And uh, Clockwork will use his uh, team on that one. Uh Let's see, what would I like to talk about? Oh, it's a little bit of a disappointment that they want to put it in the DLC. But I think there is a reason because, like, if you want it for DLC, you would have to pay... F for PS3, you have to pay 5 bucks each for 12 characters. So basically, you have to pay 60 bucks for the characters and basically 10 more bucks for basically uh, getting the new stages and the spectator mode. I think that's going to be much of a for your money to be spent a lot. I think for a good tip, just spend it on the actual disc and trade your original Marvel 3 for it. That's a good advice from uh yeah, just a good advice, not for me, but you know, just an advice. All right, um let's see. What was what else? Oh yeah, for 360 would be like how many Microsoft points? Like 250 per character and then like 400 on the stage or something. But since they're not going to do that for PS3 and Xbox, they're just going to put it on disc. So yeah. Alright, that's all I know about Marvel 3. Ultimate Marvel 3, sorry. So uh, yeah, uh, November 15th, it'll come out. Uh, more characters will be released either this month or the next. And it'll be four more, so yeah. The next four would be, I forgot, let me check again, uh, would be Phoenix Wright, Virgil, Doctor Strange, and Iron Fist. Be a look on that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.